Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. It's been a while since I've played some Jade Cocoon. So let's play some Jade Cocoon! If we go back into- is- oh, the- okay, here we go. If we go back into the Spider Gate, we'll find that the uh, environment is much different. And the monsters are a little different too. There are only two kind of enemies here now. And they all look like spiders. The air variant of the spiders called Nevin. Some of you might know that name if you play Devil May Cry 3? Devil May Cry 3. They're pretty pathetic, but uh, they know a special spell. Oh well, this one knows sleep, but the fire variant knows death. And they also have a pretty kick-ass uh, attack animation. Okay, so let's see. This is the only uh, this is the only forest that has actually changed in uh, terms of appearance and monsters, and it's the only forest that ever will. And it kind of is a big screw you from the game to give you these two monsters and not give you any indication that they're there. But hey, guess what? That's what I'm here for. If you like spiders, uh, go back to the spider forest because there are actually spiders in this spider forest. After you destroy it and seal the god. You know, there aren't any beetles in the beetle forest, there aren't any dragonflies in the dragonfly forest, but for some reason, there are spiders in the spider forest. Who'd have thought? Alright, got one. Oh, by the way, viewers, there is a glitch in this game I kind of neglected to tell you about. If you ever save the game and turn it off, the cocoons you have captured and have not purified all their skills will go away, and this is kind of a problem, kind of not, uh, simply because some moves uh, kind of overlap, but I thought I'd let you know, simply because if you're wondering about something, like, hey, why didn't I get this plus critical or something like that, it's because you saved and the glitch caused your uh, your monster to lose all its powers before you purified it. So, so go purify monster cocoons before you save the game and turn it off. Otherwise, you'll lose out on things. And look at that death animation. It's fantastic death animation. Alright, cool. So, I'm gonna run around and look for the fire version of this monster and be right back. Alright, we're back. And it didn't take us too long to find another spider. This one's called a Yolk. These ones know uh, the death spell, so um, by video game law, they are pretty good at casting a spell. However, when you cast the death spell, it's not that good. So let's uh, let's kill one of them. Oh, crud! They might cast death on me now. Yep, there's the death spell. It missed, however, because it's really bad. The death spell is very bad in this game. You wouldn't believe how bad it is. Okay, never mind. It's pretty bad. Okay, never mind. Um, hmm, that's a problem. Let's capture this. Let's capture this guy and see if we can finish him off with another monster. Hopefully, he won't use the death spell on me and kill me in the process. I'd like it if that didn't happen. Of course, the game's gonna kill me right after I, right after I bash the spell for being useless. Of course, it is. By the way, it's not going to ever be useful on bosses, so don't worry about it. And there we go. Don't don't kill me. Please don't kill. Okay, good. That works. Um, should I just run? I mean, I could just have revenge on it for killing me, but at the same time, is it really worth it? Let's just run. Let's get out of here. Mmm, okay, um... Thank goodness for that Nagi belt giving me HP regen. There we go, much better. Ooh, a ring of death. So we can cast death ourselves if we wanted to. Not that I would, but you know. Alright, so now all our business is done here. And I, if some viewers have actually played this game 
and have played this game with a passion, they may know about some secrets. And these secrets I am not going to talk about until the game is over. Because some of you may have already gone the point of no return and it's not nice to make an addendum after so long. So we're going to do that later. Let's head into the Moth's Forest now. This is the final forest in the Barrier Gate. And that is no lie. This is literally the final forest in this Barrier Gate. And it's got some kick-ass music. Also, there's a bag. Oh, whoa. There is that monster I was looking for. Also, there is a uh, bag. It's got some liquor in it. And we got some funny looking things. Uh, these are... What are they called again? This is Shulia. He has an air variant name. Oh crap, our patron is actually dead. Huh, <laughs> that's gonna be a problem later. He has a uh, fire variant named Asha. And that monster actually drops a special weapon called Night Glow. I'm gonna try and get that once I see it. Also, again, viewers, point of no return. Do not complete the moth forest until you get everything you want. Oh, I should have captured that thing. Crap. Uh, let me find another one. Any more? I really need to get. I need to. I need to get all of these. I want to go for the 100% bestiary. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, whoa, back up, back up, Mister. You want some of this? Ah, uh, tough guy. Oh, you got a friend over there. Oh, crap. This is like one of those uh, scenes. Oh, wow! Look at this. This guy's actually like creeping up to me as I back up. That's some really cool AI right there. That's actually kind of cool. But anyway, let's take him on. I'm tired of messing around. A rat todon. It's basically a rat paddle chew. I don't remember anything special about these guys. All the paddle chew boxer types are the same thing, really. Oh, this guy doesn't seem to have a horn. Wait, yeah, he does. It's a very small horn. He hits pretty hard, though. 20 damage each. I do more because I'm better, but oh well. Let's actually catch this guy now. I need to catch that uh, Nautilus-like enemy later, too, before I forget. Oh, that's what this guy's special power is. You know what, that actually is kind of cool. He has a healing ability. That actually makes it kind of annoying. Oh, he's going to do it again, isn't he? Son of a gun. Well, I already hate these guys. So once you capture it, I'm definitely going to kill these guys of extreme prejudice. Also, one of my minions is dead. I don't like that. Oh, come on, dude. Holy cow. Okay, this is... Okay, this is annoying. I sure wish I had my earth monster. You may have also realized, viewers, that this is a very low-level game. It's the fourth forest, and I only have level 11. Don't worry. It gets better. Alright, let's capture this thing. I think my patron already knows Media, so there really is no point to capturing this guy, but oh well. Presto Changeo! Got a cocoon. Right on! Alright, we leveled up, and now we are an Immaculate Summoner. Immaculate uh, Cocoon Master. So now our song is a little bit cooler, so let's see what. Oh. Weird screen such a So anyway, this guy won't actually attack you. He'll only creep up to crap. I didn't mean to walk into him. Um, do I want to fight you right now? Hey, you know what? Let's try. Let's try this. Let's try the ring of death. Because I feel like it. Let's let's try it. Let's try this ring of death. Oh, it missed. Oh well. Ow. Alright, honestly, there's no reason for me to fight him right now. I'll, I'll, I'll grind later. I'll grind off screen. When I'm hunting for rare items. Let's see here. What's in here? Nothing but a chest. Okay. 
Gotta love the music in this area. I actually like the music in this area a lot because it's very ambient. Ooh, what are you? A pot baron. Fire dog. Unfortunately, my... You know, I could probably revive my monster. That's probably a good idea. But for now, let's just... Uh, let's fight this guy as he is. Yeah, can you hear the uh, music already? It's already changed. Ooh, critical. That's... that's. I'm not gonna do critical. Critical is uh, really risky. Oh my god! Speaking of criticals... What the hell? That really hurt. That really hurt. Ow. Am I gonna die? 55 to 30. That's 25 damage. Alright, cool. Paddle Chews is basically almost dead. Don't know. Oh, I did not. Okay, I didn't. I didn't think that was gonna happen. This is actually kind of bad because I cannot revive. Uh, I can't revive my monsters unless I have a Tenda Yukiaku. I only have one. I should have thought this through. All right, listen to the song this time. See how much? See, it got a little better. So I guess we're better at uh, soothing, soothing hearts. Awesome. Now it's gonna be kind of hard to uh, grind here uh, or, and get everything I need because, uh, well, I only have so many fireflies, firefly cocoons, and I only have oh, ooh, that's right. I was going to revive something, and I only have so much I can do. I have one ten daiyukiaku, which means I'm which I'm gonna use on our patron. That guy doesn't seem to have anything important on him because he's the same monster, so I'm going to leave him alone for now. There are two skeleton keys in this area, and you saw the two chests that they belong to. And, okay. Dude wants, a, dude wants some of this. So maybe this time we won't get killed by an instant death spell. Let's go, son. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah! How you like that? You like that? I bet you do! Unfortunately, Paddle Chew is still dead. Uh. So, let's see. Anything else to go here? There's, not, there's nothing story related here. You just need to get through the forest in order to get to the Nagi village. Um, in fact, I think it's a really quick walk if you do things correctly. But, uh, of course, we want to find everything in this place before we leave. Let's see if I can do that. I might be heading towards the exit, in which case that's a bad thing. Let's see here. Yeah, this seems like I'm going towards uh, a goal. Oh, look at who it is. Um, do I want to talk to you right now? I guess I kind of do. I got. I kind of don't. There's nothing here, so I guess this is a dead end. Only thing here is the poacher. Well, another sucker right where I want him. <laughs> hey there, kid. Give me all your white cocoons. Hand them over now, and I won't kill you. Oh, what a great offer. Well, that's weird, the text automatically scrolled there. I don't understand. Alright, Poacher with Invisible Axe. Let's freaking go. And yes, viewers, he has another goat. Alright, let's take on this dude. So let's see, first I want to actually... I actually want to use Cell Salam on ourselves, just in case the goat does something silly. What kind of goat is it anyway? A good goat, cool! It's weak to us. Fantastic. So now we can use a wind attack. Oh, it's dead. That's amazing. 
Okay, that was awesome. That was freaking cool. Alright, cool. And now the porch is going to die a horrible death. I better get some levels after this. Alright, it seems like we're going to kill the poacher before he kills us. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to. Oh, what you got, poacher? Nothing! Oh, yeah! Alright, cool. I can't believe I just lost a little kid. I guess I'm over the hill. Maybe I should just retire. See you around, kid. Well, I guess we kind of broke his heart, but, uh... Oh, the pupa key. We need that to proceed, by the way. Alright, so I didn't get a skeleton key from him like I expected, but we did get the key that will let us through the gate that leads to the Nagi village. Fantastic. Now we just need to find all the monsters. If I'm correct, those are the the three monsters we fought are the only types of... Dang, sticky walking, uh, let me see. Are the only types of monsters we'll find in here, so there are only six in all, six in all and I've caught two of them. I need to get that Nautilus before he changes color. And we need to find those skeleton keys as well. But, uh, I think I'll do that next time. Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 right in my face. Well, let's fight him then. He is the Earth type. Rattlechew. Yeah. Creative name, but... Oh, well. Okay, maybe this time... Let's see. What should I hit him with? It seems like he tanks, but at the same time... Okay, perfect. Oh, that's right. He has the plus power ability to his hands. So... Even though it's neutral, he's able to... Oh, crap. He poisoned me. Well, that sucks. Cool. Oh, this this guy seems like he'd be useful to have in emerging... Uh, in a merging with... Okay, so let's capture him then. That means the dog and the Nautilus are also changed then. Which means I need to go back and get the wind Nautilus too. Sorry, viewers, just cracking my knuckles. All right, cool. Um, you know what? Before we actually, no, no, we're gonna we're gonna stop here. Let's just get out of here, and I am not going to save. I'm just going to get out so I can reset the monsters and go back in. Do not save if you want to keep the powers like I do. I want to keep that Rattlechew's powers with him, so I don't want him to lose his abilities in his Firefly. So I'll be back. This is DMBoy27 wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Don't save.